Hello and welcome to this tutorial on one of the most requested features in Mativa Layama, the creation of hotspots or interactive tags. Following the design philosophy of the program, this will be quick and easy to do. To do this in the case of 3 Smacks, we simply have to go to the creation panel, helpers section and select the Layama category. There we only have one button, the Layama hotspot, in the future there will be more, but we'll see them in upcoming tutorials. In any case it is a good idea to have auto grid activated if you do not have it by default. This will make that, when we want to create one it will snap to the geometry we are hovering. To start I'm going to add one to this chair. I usually like to separate it a little bit from the geometry, because when the button is behind a geometry we won't be able to see it. If we look there is a sphere around the chair, this circle represents the zone in which the hotspot will be visible, if we are inside it, it will be visible and if not, it will not. This allows us to add many buttons in the scene, and at the same time, not to have the screen full of icons, they will only be visible when we are within their radius of influence. I will modify its radius, because in this scene I want it to be a bit larger, so that these cameras will be able to see this hotspot. We have another control, that is the size of its representation in the 3ds Max viewport, this is useful, because when we deselect it, this logo is the only thing will remain in the viewport, although, obviously when we select it again the sphere will return to be seen. This simplifies how everything is seen in the viewport, without having unnecessary lines. For this demo we'll add a few more, for example one to the floor, one to these shirts here and again I'll separate it a bit and finally one to the coat. It's very important to name them properly, otherwise we won't know which one is which within Layama. I will call them chair, floor, shirt and coat. That's all, we won't need anything else. Once we are at this point, we will export the scene like any other Layama project. We will continue seeing how to do the same with Unreal and Blender, to later export everything using the Layama software itself, if you are not interested in Unreal or Blender you can jump to this step directly. Adding a Layama hotspot in Unreal is just as easy, simply search for Layama in the actor list, and drag it into the scene. As we can see it has an area of influence, as in 3ds Max, this size can be controlled by the sphere radius. As in Unreal we always work in centimeters, if we wish 1.5 meters we would have to set 150 units. I would like to emphasize that these hotspot have included the spherical trigger functionality of Unreal, so we can use them both ways, if you want to have the scene to visualize interactively in Unreal and Layama. Finally the procedure in Blender is almost the same, we will add a hotspot by pressing Shift plus A, Layama category, and their Layama hotspot. Selecting it we can place it where we want, and in the object data tab we can modify its radius. As we said before it is important to give an appropriate name to each hotspot in the scene. We have set a title and a description to our website. We have also added an alternative, to have the store in two colors. In any case we have already seen these in previous tutorials. Let's go back to the hotspots, click on this button, to open the hotspots panel. This is why it was so important to put a proper name, to identify each of them separately. I will start with the hotspot on the ground. I will simply go to file and give it a file, in this case one in JPG format. I'll continue with the chair, here I want to add a link to its Wikipedia page, and now we see several modes, within our virtual tour, in the same browser window, or in a new window. In this case I want it to be in a new window. And in Earl I will give you a link to your Wikipedia entry. As for the shirt I'm going to set a link to where to buy women's shirts are online at Amazon. In this case I want to abandon the navigation, so I'll set the same window option and paste the link. Lastly, I want to add to the code a link to a YouTube video, but within my virtual tour. For that, I will go to YouTube and copy the link. But be careful, when we want to integrate a window inside the navigation, some platforms like YouTube or Vimeo do not allow to copy the general link. But a specific one for embedded videos. This way each one also has specific options like autoplay in case of YouTube. I will select link embed, paste the URL, 
and as I know the autoplay trick I will use it. We can also change the icon to any of them, otherwise the default icon will be automatically selected. In this case I want to change it to the one of the video hotspot, so I will click on the icon button and select my image. Finally we are going to see this option, it determines if we want to see the hotspots from the beginning, or first we will have to make some movement, this obviously is up to each one's choice. Now we only need to export the web, as I am not in a hurry, and I know I have enough memory to process it correctly, I will choose the adaptive method as it will give me better quality. To start the export process I will click on export web, I will set the output folder, and I will wait a few minutes. It is time to see how everything looks like. Click on view with the integrated viewer, and it will open in this screen. We can move etc. as in any other Layama project. We also have the variations as we said before. And we see that we already have the icon on the chair. Why don't the rest of the hotspots appear? Because we have defined that we want a distance that only allows them to appear when we are closer. If I come to this part we already see the one on the floor, and if I click on this label, it opens the image that we defined previously. Clicking on any point of the viewport it will close it. The same thing will happen for the clothes area. Here we have two labels one for the coat and another for the shirts. Clicking on the coat we will see the YouTube video inside the tour itself. There are a couple of limitations, but they only affect Layama's internal viewer, and it affects these two points, the one for the chair and the one for the t-shirts, we have no more than one window, and there are not tabs, so that if I click on the button it will open the whole screen, and we will have no way to return to the navigation, logically this does not happen in conventional browsers, when the file is already uploaded to the internet. This has been all. I hope you liked it and again, thanks for your time.